Well, good morning. It's July 21st, Sunday. It's Sunday morning, sitting out here on the front porch rocking. Uh, as a, as, this is kind of an intro for our this video you're going to see here, which is going to be pretty long, because I'm using this little segment here as an introduction to let you know that it's a a group of videos that I've taken over the year of how we've tried to refurbish this whole front porch deck. And as you could probably notice in some of the past videos, it wraps around three quarters of the home. So we're going to talk about how we removed the chicken wire, how we replaced a lot of the rails, which are, uh, it's reclaimed barn wood, which is not easy to find, but we'll talk a little bit about that. How, how we ended up staining it because it was in pretty bad shape, the timbers. So just a little intro. So you can see what we've done over the last year to make this front porch and side porch just so much more beautiful. Okay, let me know what you think. Well, let's start with what we had to do first. And what we had to do first was remove all of the chicken wire that wrapped around the front and side porches. So I've got about six slides here to show you what that looked like when the chicken wire was there, taking some of it off, and what that reclaimed barn would look like. Okay, the next three photos just kind of give you an idea what the rails look like used to build the, uh, the deck. And the stain that we used, which was Valspar, and the color. And you'll see that it's chocolate chip. Hello, it's June 8th. And we're going to be finishing up the uh, front porch, as you can see here rail project. We, we started those, the, the rails that go, uh, you know, horizontal to remove all of the chicken wire that was here. I don't know if you can see that with this video, but there's chicken wire on uh, here. There you, that might be better. So we've been working on this a long time. Get the sides. We, we did the sides because we have this deck goes you know, three quarters of the way around the house. So here are all the birdies out there. That's the bird sanctuary out there. Anyway, it is June 8th, and today and tomorrow we're going to try to finish this up. So we get rid of all this chicken wire. It's ugly. And with just those two railings on it. Similar to what we did over a year ago to the side there. So side posts. These next five photos just give you an idea of the chicken wire that was on the front porch. And in, uh, word of warning, if you ever have to work with chicken wire in the future and you have not, make sure you've got on good gloves and something to protect your arms because it can be nasty. Well, now you can see we have removed the chicken wire from all of the surrounding front and side porches and placed these planks. And I'll show you what I use for that in a little bit. I think I've got a photo or two of those and they're basically fence pickets cut. And so all the chicken wire is now gone. And now, today, uh, Gail is staining the inside of those uh, center rails, and I am going to be staining the new flower bed that we put in. You can see that the wood we had there before, I'm sure I got pictures of that, was in pretty bad shape. So now, we'll start staining that to match the stain there. The two colors, these are Valspar. Again, I, Valspar is the best, as far as I'm concerned. The uh, the brownish color, I know they're both kind of brown, but the is, is called chocolate chip. And the middle rails is potato skin, if you're interested in what the color is. And these daisies, Shasta daisies, that we just put in last year, a couple plants are amazing. Uh, we'll give you an update. So Still here is the rail that I need more of. This is the whatever it is, one and three quarters by exactly four. This is a side rail for decoration, I guess, a finisher. And as I move down here, Danny, you'll see it ends. It ends over here, right at this spot. But that's okay. I don't need it here because we're going to do something else with this area. And then here's where they stopped putting it up. So it's just the, it's just this here, and there's no side kind of two by four so this is the 18 feet i need to uh finish this up 
because that's what it looks like. You can see it was down there. We have been working on this front deck for more than a year. Well, since we moved in almost, so over a year. Just putting in new railings, painting it, staining it. But today we, we finally found uh, a lumber yard, a timber yard actually, that handles vintage timber, basically reclaim, uh, reclaimed barnwood. And uh, out in Kingsport, I'm gonna actually put their name of the company and a couple pictures from there. What an amazing place if you need that reclaimed old barn wood, which we need because in order to finish this where the past owner did not finish this project, you really need a two by four, not the two by fours they sell at the, uh, you know, the big, the big box houses, the, you know, the Home Depots or Lowe's, those aren't real two by fours as we all know, but these are, these are real two by fours. So these next five photos give you an idea of the boards I was able to purchased from Vintage Timbers in Kingsport, Tennessee. I love that place. Danny was great. I can't remember the other gentleman's name, but they were great. And how it worked out. I mean, the, the boards matched perfectly compared to what was there before we moved in. So all that's really left now is to paint the floors of the decks. And we'll do that once it cools off. Talk to you guys soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.